uh, we're down in uh, Chatham, and the goal is to uh, live capture uh, sub-adult or adult gray seals in, in Chatham Harbor. Uh, we'll do that by setting a research net, and then the animals will be sedated, and then we'll um, collect biological samples on these animals. This is the first attempt to do this in the northeast U.S. Um, as everyone is aware, the gray seal population uh, uh, has been growing, and there's a lot of issues being raised about um, uh, the, the effect of uh, numbers of gray seals on water quality, the impact uh, of the gray seals on fishery resources and that nature. We caught four on that first set, and so we let three go. Um, and we're, we're going to work up one today to make sure we have the protocols and everything goes smoothly. Yeah, we're on the wrong side, but, uh, they're taking blood, they're taking, measuring the length of the animal, they're checking the respiration, make sure the animal is breathing properly. The animal is probably coming out of sedation now. They have attached a, a GPS tag to it ahead. So this is one of the tags that we're going to be um, gluing to the backs of uh, gray seals uh, over the next few days here. And the tag is designed to give us information about where the seal goes, how deep it dives, what's the temperature in those waters. It's a new form of tag that doesn't use satellite telemetry, but instead it actually transmits that information over the cell phone networks. And so that makes it um, very efficient in terms of data transfers and it makes it cheap. And this initial investment is, is a lot for the tag, about $5,000. So essentially the tag gets glued to the animal, the animal goes to sea. There's two little uh, copper bits on either side of the tag here that, that, uh, that uh, can tell when the tag is immersed in water and so it knows to start recording. Once it comes back to land, uh, when it comes back to haul out after a foraging trip or after being social in the water, it, uh, the tag will be able to sense that it's been dry for you know maybe 15 or 20 minutes and then it will actually try and make a connection to the cell phone towers and transfer the information back to us. Uh, so well, one of the things that we'd like to do is try and understand the spatial ecology of the animals here and uh, as we've been you know, saying, um, you know, gray seals were extirpated from the Gulf of Maine and have been absent from uh, this marine environment for essentially the entirety of modern ecology. And, and so we don't know very much about their, their, their ecology, what they do, where they move, their distributions at sea. And so we're going to get some really high resolution information on that using these kinds of tags.